Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is b to the power 3 plus 10, this is equal to minus b. So what is the value of b? Now, let's prevent a solution from here. We have b to the power of 3 plus 10, this is equal to minus b. The first thing to do here, let's take minus b on the right hand side. So that you have b to the power 3 minus b here becomes positive. So we have plus b, then plus 10. This is equal to 0. The next step is that we have b to the power 3 plus b, then plus, we can express 10 as 8 plus 2. This is equal to 0. The next step from here. We have b to the power 3 plus b, then plus. Now, we can express 8 as 2 to the power 3, then plus 2. This is equal to 0. Now, we have b to the power 3, and we have 2 to the power 3 here. So, we can express this as b to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3, then plus b plus 2. This is equal to 0. Now, b to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3, this is the sum of two cubes expressed as 8 to the power 3 plus b to the power 3, which we can express as 8 to the power 3 plus b to the power 3. This is the same thing as a plus b, then a squared minus ab, then plus b squared. So this implies that b to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 this is the same thing as b plus 2. Then here we have b squared subtract 2b then plus 2 squared which is equal to 4. Now let's call this equation 1. Now let's combine this equation 1 with b plus 2. So here we have b plus 2 then we have b squared minus 2b plus 4. Now cross the bracket here, plus b plus 2. This is equal to 0. So b plus 2 and b plus 2 is common here. We can factor out b plus 2. So that now into the parentheses, here we have b squared minus 2b plus 4, then plus 1 close the bracket, this is equal to 0. Now this implies that we have two parts from here. We have b plus 2, this is equal to 0. And here we have b squared minus 2b plus 4 plus 1, this is 5. This is equal to 0. Now from the first part here, we have b1 is equal to minus 2. The second part here, this is the quadratic equation of the form a b squared plus this is b b plus c this is equal to zero from this quadratic equation a is equal to one b is equal to minus two and c is equal to five now so for b2 comma b3 we can apply the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here. So we have minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, this is minus 2 squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 5, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So now we have minus times minus 2, this is equal to 2, plus or minus, the square root of minus 2 squared, this is equal to 4, subtract 5 times 4, this is equal to 20, divided by 
2. The next step is that you have, this is 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20. This is minus 16. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have 2 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 16 as 16 times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. The next step from here, we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is the same thing as 4. The square root of minus 1. This is i. Everything here divided by 2. Now, 2 is common here. We can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. Here we have 1 plus or minus 2i close the bracket over 2. So let's simplify 2 here and 2 so that now we have 1 plus or minus 2i. And this implies that we have b2 equal to 1 plus 2i and we have b3 equal to 1 minus 2i. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions from here. Such so that we have b1 b1 equal to minus 2. Now we have three solutions here. We have b1 which is minus 2. This is a real solution. And we have two complex solutions here. That is b2 and b3. Now let's verify here. Let's verify if b2 or b1 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that b to power 3 plus 10 this is equal to minus b okay so b to power 3 from here this is the same thing as minus 2 such that b1 is equal to minus 2 this is a real solution b2 and b3 these are two complex solutions for this algebra problem. So this implies that we have three solutions, one real solution and two complex solutions. The next step is to verify. So let's verify here. If you recall, we have that b to power 3 plus 10 this is supposed to give us a value of minus b. b to power 3, this is minus 2 raised to power 3 plus 10. This is supposed to give us a value of minus, minus b. b here is minus 2. In this case, from what you have here, minus 2 raised to power 3, this is minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 plus 10, this is supposed to give us a value of minus times minus 2, this is equal to 2. So this implies here, we have 2 times 2 here, this is 4, times minus 2, this is minus 8, plus 10, this is supposed to give us a value of 2. So minus 8 plus 10, this is equal to 2, which is equal to 2. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, B1 satisfies the equation. And country, follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.